And Mr. Jean Claude, if you don't mind just muting yourself for now. Sorry? If you could just mute yourself, I'll let you know when to unmute. Thank you, sir. All right, so my name is Josh Hortiquin. I am the Senior Director of Sales for the Americas for Small Luxury Hotels of the World based in San Diego, California. My team consists of Julie Owens based in New York City, uh, Lena Marino based in Southern Florida, Vanessa Johnson in Houston, Texas, and Dominic Laddit based in Brazil and covers our South American market. If there's anything my team or I can do to assist, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us at any time. I would like to highlight the upcoming webinars we have scheduled for the next several weeks. Our goal is to bring you up-to-date information from our properties in a focused manner. Should you have any, uh, suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world you're most interested in, I would love to hear from you. Please email me directly, and if you enjoyed today's webinar, I would encourage you to visit our webinar landing page for the latest list of webinars and registration links. We will continue to add new webinars as more of our hotels begin to reopen, so please do check back regularly. We have just launched our brand new SLH website, and the TA portal is on its way, and we'll be sure to make a big announcement once that's arrived. In the meantime, you may visit slh.com to book our hotels for your clients, choose a hotel or destination, insert desired dates, and then enter your IATA or SLH ID into the field name travel industry ID and proceed with the booking. We do offer uh, assistance with commission payment issues, so please email um, those to commissions at slh.com. And for general matters, you can contact agents at SLH, or of course, you can always reach out to me at any time. Uh, SLH's GDS access code is LX, and if not already doing so, I'd like to encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. The team is spread across the globe, speaking over nine different languages collectively. And as you can see, this team can obtain quotes, make reservations, handle VIP requests, and much more. Now, if not presenting, um, please ensure your audio is muted to avoid any background noise. Agents, for any questions you have for myself or my SLH hoteliers, please type those into the chat box. I will ensure each question is answered before the end of the webinar. Also, I'd like to note your time is extremely valuable to me. and As such, each presenter has been given an opportunity to practice before today's webinar. In the unlikely event there's a technical difficulty, a follow-up will be sent for any missed property information. And most importantly, I'll ensure we keep things moving. And with that, I'm pleased to introduce you to our 28th webinar, Historically Charming. And a quick plug, if you enjoyed today's call, please join us tomorrow for our Scotland's Finest, featuring four fantastic SLH properties represented by the wonderful John Green. Uh, today, we have Historically Charming with uh, Hotel Lesseps and Spa with Jean-Claude, uh, Schloss Hotel Kronberg with Lisa, and Sonnet House with Hillary. And with that, Jean-Claude, if you could unmute yourself and I will share your contact. Okay. Uh, good evening or good morning, all of you. I'm very pleased to be with you. So I'm the GM, but also the owners of the Hotel SF. This is an historical place uh, in the middle of the wine capital of Burgundy, the city of Bourbon. And um, I will be pleased to share with you some pictures about uh, the, this hotel. So the good news is that uh, the, um, the harvest will be quite early this year and uh, by luck uh, it will be certainly a very good vintage, which is always important for the Burgundy high rear. So, of course, maybe uh, we are impacted by the COVID uh, because we have not all our international market. We work actually with the European market. But uh, what is good is that we will fill the cellar with very good vintage to be shared with our guests when they will be back. So you will see some uh, images about the prop team. As you can see, Bonn is a city surrounded by the vineyards, of course. Uh, the best part of what makes the Burgundy unique is just around the Bonn wine capital. And as you can see, it's a um, small city, charming city, authentic. 
uh, nothing is huge, but everything is a uh, human size. And the hotel is the connection of many different buildings. We bought the hotel 34 years ago with just 19 rooms. Now we are 63 rooms. And then we have the spa and the wine cellar. What is very interesting is to focus that bone is very easy uh, to be reached from the airport of Paris, of course, and can take TGV or motorways, but also with uh, Geneva Airport, which is just two hours driving. And Lyon Airport is one hour and a half. We have 62 free rooms, just one house, and all the rooms are different. We love to have different style for the rooms, so we are able to please everyone with connecting room, with family room, with duplex room. So we can choose the style with you um, who could fit the expectation of your guests. We used to do very personal welcome and a lot of conciergerie with you. So as much you can say about your guest, um, much better it is for us because we can um, prepare a very uh, personal uh, experience. Very important to uh, highlight that we used to serve the breakfast until the last guests have breakfast. So no hurry for that in the morning. And it is really what is important because our bar so ours. We never close the bar. So you cannot be the last one the bar and the first one of the breakfast. You have time to enjoy all of that. And we have many places to party or to relax in the hotel. Inside the hotel with 16th century courtyard, we have two of them. Uh, we have fireplace uh, room, we have a uh, different venue where you can find definitively a place. For example, right now, it's a uh, private wine tasting in the courtyard. We have also some uh, meeting rooms that can become a uh, place for uh, parties. And all around us, we have also connection with best organized special uh, venue for uh, guests who want to have special treatment. In the Espisabon, we have a wonderful place uh, like what you can see right there. So we focus a little bit on the groups here, but of course, we do also a la carte uh, for a couple program Using all the connection we have in the city of Bonn. I'm born in Bonn, I'm born in the Hospice of Bonn. We have also a private house on the top of the hill where we can also provide accommodation and to be in a safe and green place. Now we can focus a little bit on our spa because it's a real destination with 15 sensorial experiences like this. We can definitively do a la carte program for your clients who will enjoy to be a treat like this and then enjoy also the burgundy. And the best place to enjoy the burgundy will be our private wine tasting cellar where we can do again a la carte private wine tasting. And we are lucky to have amazing collection of the top wines, uh, including all the Romani Conti domain uh, wines and Hospice de Bonne with uh, more than uh, 34 years of purchases. And also we love to have, of course, nice collection of top champagne, but we have also very nice uh, wines coming from young producers, so not expensive, but already good. And all around us, we can do a lot of activities. We provide also the rental of the, the chevaux car, and all these activities can be um, booked in advance for your clients. So just remember that we are a place where the owners is uh, to take care of our guests. So they are with us for more than 30 years. And the same for my staff who used to work with me for uh, maybe uh, more than 20 years for some of them. And this is what could make the difference. So just to focus a little bit on the situation, the hotel is open uh, from the 18th of um, May. And now 
that we have a quite good occupancy with uh, the European market just all around the, um, our country. And what is very interesting is that all the measures we take for the safety of everyone um, with a great and pleasant stay. We use some uh, technique of um, disinfectation with ozone in the room, each guest, and uh, a lot of different uh, cares, but definitely people are very, very happy to be there. So we wait for you guys. We miss you and you will be more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you so, thank you so much, Jean-Claude. Um, we actually had um, Christina O'Toole from Pittsburgh uh, say how magnificent your hotel is. Highly recommends. Perfect lo uh, location in Buane and uh, Benit. I'm not going to say this correctly. It's B-I-E-N-T-O-T. -E I'm not going to try to pronounce it with my southern accent, but and then agents, if you have any other questions for us, please type those into the chat box. And um, if there's no other question for Jean-Claude, I will go ahead and mute you for now, sir. And we will ask Miss Lisa to unmute and share your content, please. Hello, everyone. Let me just see. So now you should all see my content. Yes, ma'am, we can. Perfect, perfect. So welcome everyone also from my side. Um, my name is Lisa and um, I've been with the Schloss Hotel Kronberg now for three years. And let me just start with a quick video to get a feeling into our beautiful property um, that is located just close to Frankfurt. And then I will show you some slides to show you the inside. Enjoy. Welcome to the Schlossetet Kronberg, a hideaway with history. My name is Lisa and I'm the director of sales for this beautiful gym. Let me show you around. The hotel is located just 15 minutes outside of Frankfurt, 30 minutes from the airport, we have a 58 hectares park surrounding the hotel, as well as an 18-hole championship golf course. The hotel has a total of 61 rooms. We have eight meeting facilities, and it's member of Virtuoso, as well as small luxury hotels of the world. The hotel was built in 1898 and was built by Empress Victoria, and until today it's owned by the same family the House of Hess. So inside of the hotel, you find a beautiful combination between modern luxury and antiques coming from the family. Enjoy. So that was just a quick introduction and let me move over. So here you can see what I already said um, in the video that the hotel was built for Empress Victoria and she lived there during the last 20 years of her life when her husband had passed away. So her son was the last emperor of Germany and her husband was, let's say, the second last um, emperor of Germany. And until today, it's owned by the same family um, as well as um, several um, cultural estates that the family owns. And as you can see over here, it's a very green area, although we are just 15 minutes outside of Frankfurt, but you don't see it, you don't feel it. And Kronberg is actually the name of the town it's located in, which is um, a bit like um, the suburbs of Frankfurt um, and a beautiful green cultural um, resort, I always say, and um, known for great art galleries for great um, level of cuisine, great restaurants, and just a beautiful town to, to linger and walk around. Just a few facts and figures. Um, I won't bore you with any more uh, than those. <laughs> um, we have 61 rooms in total, of which we have 12 suites. And we have a beautiful castle park, as I mentioned, 58 hectares, a rose garden, a grotto, and you'll see pictures of that just now. A cottage beer garden that we just, or beer garden, I must say, that we just recently um, launched as a pop up because of the corona crisis. Because we said we need more open space um, because it just gives you a feeling of 
um, fresh air and you feel more secure. And that's why we are right now working a lot with the open space. We have a beautiful sun terrace that is also connected to the restaurant, the 18 hole um, championship golf course, a tennis court that we only discovered recently because of the crisis here again, because it wasn't really functioning. It wasn't really um, in shape and we, yeah, let's say we renovated the uh, tennis court now. When you walk into the um, hotel lobby, that's how it looks like, very um, uh, historical in that sense. So you, in the entire building, you see um, art, you see paintings, um, you see antiques that come from the cultural foundation and was really nicely integrated into modern design. All of the rooms find that great mix between modern luxury and the antiques and paintings. So all the art that you see are also originals. And of the 61 rooms, we have about six that have a beautiful terrace um, as well. And here on the right side, again, you see some antiques that come from the family, but then all modernized with um, British design. Then we also have some rooms and suites that bring you back to European history. That's one of them, our royal suite, where um, we have the original working desk of the last emperor of Germany all the way in the back. And the couch that you see is originally or has been the original couch of Eisenhower, who used to stay at the hotel when it was a soldier's residence after the Second World War. So throughout the entire building, you don't just find European history, but then um, world history um, as well. The outside space, as I mentioned, the golf course um, with 18 holes, um, you find a lot of, especially now and in spring, a lot of flowers um, and nicely um, decorated park with a rose garden as well. So you can imagine for, for weddings, it's a quite famous castle as well, but also just to spend a weekend getaway and you don't have to leave the hotel. It's a destination on its own with a lot of privacy and ways to find your privacy within the park, which is a safe area as well. The left side here, you find the restaurant. So again, right now we really emphasize on working with the open space. On the right side, our beautiful cottage that was rented out um, to a family for many years and is now empty. And we just um, made it basically the, um, the beer garden. So you can have wine from our very own wine uh, winery as well. You can have... Um, cake in the afternoon, something from the barbecue, and well, that's all from my side. Um, just to sum up, it's a historical um, jewel or germ on the outsides of Frankfurt, um, with, uh, which used to be the original castle of Empress Victoria. Um, again, it's family owned by the same family. It's member of um, Small Luxury Hotels of the World and Virtual is a member for one year only. So we are, we are still very proud of um, reaching that. Um, it's just a European hideaway with a lot of history. We can organize historical tours. We can organize anything outside activities. Um, it's close to the wineries as well, um, where we have our own um, winery and um, just a very private atmosphere throughout the entire hotel. And that's just myself. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I hope uh, that we can plan different trips again very, very soon for our clients. And until then, I can only say um, stay safe and stay cheerful. Thank you. Absolutely. Stay cheerful. That's great advice. Thank you. Um, again, agents, if you have any questions, please type those into the chat box. Um, so Hillard with the Sun House is next. She was having trouble logging in. Give me one second. Let me just... So unfortunately, her um, her connection is not going to make it for this uh, webinar. So we'll reschedule her, and I'll have her follow up with all of you that are attending the webinar today um, to receive her information. Uh, again, if you have any questions for the hotels today, please let me know. And otherwise, I really want to say thank you to my SLH hoteliers for taking the time to prepare and present today. 
and to our agents for taking the time out of your busy days to um because i know you have lots of options uh, for webinars so we're, we're glad that you chose slh um if we can do anything to help please let us know and otherwise i hope you all have a great day bye bye everyone thank you so much Josh. thank you bye bye